Jesus. Now we've been singing that we will obey. We've been singing about how much we love him. And I want us to do a prophetic act. And some of you won't like this, but that's okay because Jesus will like it. I want you to find a piece of paper and I want you to write down whatever it is that you put before the Lord. The Lord is saying it's time to cast down the idols. The Lord is saying it's time to surrender those things that hinder love. So what is it? What's standing between you and God? Is it sleeping in a little too long? Is it staying up a little bit too too, too late? Some of y'all are going to have to put your Gucci up at the altar. Some of you can take the cigarettes out of your purse, out of your pocket, and put them at the altar. Some of you need to take off something that you have that God didn't tell you to keep and put it at the altar. Some of you don't have it with you, so you're going to have to write it on a piece of paper. Some of you need to come and put your credit cards on the altar. Some of you need to come and just put whatever it is that's getting in the way between you and Him. Just put it on the altar. It's time to let Him consume it. It's time to let Him take it. Just put it on the altar. It's victory. This is victory. I'm not going to read it. You don't have to worry about it. Just write it down there. Some of you have something in your possession that you need to put on the altar. Woman of God, just put that prayer shawl on the altar. Some of you have something in your possession. You just need to put it on the altar. Just leave it there. It's between you and the Lord. He'll take the desire away from whatever it was as you put it on the altar. You won't want it anymore. You won't care a thing about it anymore. It's all about him. He's the king. He's the Lord. He's the Holy One of Israel. He's the forerunner, the faithful witness. He's the lover of our souls and the lifter of our heads. He is our everything, and we give him the preeminence. No longer will we allow things, material things, natural things, get in the way of us and our God. Oh. And you all know what it is. Isn't it remarkable that you know what it is? God is so pleased right now. He is so pleased right now. He is so pleased. You're touching the heart of God right now. I'm telling you, the taste for whatever that was is fading away. Some of it is the approval of people. That's an idol. Some of it is money. That's an idol. Some of it's entertainment. That's an idol. If you, some of you weren't so far away from home, I said, go get your TVs and put it on the altar. Some of you, your cars, if they would fit in the building, I said, put your car on the altar. But since we can't do that, this is a prophetic act. And the Lord's going to free you from that thing. You just surrendered it to him. Look at all these people. Look at all these idols. Look at all these idols. Somebody just put their phone on the idol. It's a nice phone too. I think I'll keep that. says you shall have no other gods before me and anything listen it's not because he has a big ego it's not because he needs you to feed his security it's because he knows that anything that gets in the way of you and him can take you out and away from him he knows that anything that you love more than him 
will pull you out of his will, pull you away from his heart. And there is a great falling away coming. And not every believer is going to make it. That's why it's called a falling away. It's an apostasy. It's a falling away from the faith. And it is time to get rid of the idols. It's time to let these things go. They have no eternal value, whatever it is. So, you know, some of you, you love your kids. You can't put them up on the idol, but you need to stop idolizing them. You need to stop idolizing your spouse. You need to stop idolizing your house. If we're not careful, God himself will prune away from our lives the things that hinder love. It is much better for us to sacrifice those things than for him to take them away. Because when you're praying in the spirit, I'm telling you, what some of you are praying in the spirit is, God, crucify my flesh. When you're praying in the spirit, you're praying the perfect prayer. You're praying, Lord, remove the idols. Remove the people that I put ahead of you. Remove those friends that I like to be with more than I like to spend time with you. That is what is happening when you yield yourself to him in prayer. He will deal with your idols. And some of you feel like you got betrayed. And the Lord says, it wasn't a betrayal. The betrayal was for your betterment. Because those people were consuming your time. And I want to consume all of you. Come on. He's an all-consuming fire. He wants everything. He's not satisfied with half your heart. He doesn't want half-hearted Christians. He's not satisfied with three quarters of your loyalty. He wants it all. He deserves it all. He's worthy of it all. He died for it all. He paid the price for it all. So Father, we thank you. We thank you. I see all these idols here, the representation of these idols. And Father, we give it to you. We give it all to you, God. Take away our taste for these things. And when you can't take away the taste because it's something that must remain, help us to put it in the right place. Help us, Lord, to seek first the kingdom of God. Other things have their place, but not before you. Your word says Jesus has the preeminence. So help us, Lord, to put you in the place that you belong, high and lifted up. Help us, Lord, never to allow anything to get in the way of us and you. We want you more than anything. It's more than a song that we're singing. We're not going to praise you with our lips and let our hearts be far from you. We refuse to be hypocrites. We refuse to be like the Pharisees. We refuse to engage in lifeless religion. We want to walk in power that proves that you are alive. So we give you these idols willingly, willfully. And we say, Lord, help us not to put these things ahead of you. Because I know you want us to have nice things. You want to bless us. You want us to have nice houses, cars. You want us to have relationships, friends. You want us to have fun. But not if it gets in the way of us and you. So we give you our whole heart today. Everything we have and everything we are, it belongs to you. And we say, Lord, let your all-consuming fire, living flame of love, come and baptize us right now, afresh, anew. Come and baptize us, God. Fill us with your Holy Spirit to overflowing, God. We want to see you for real. We want to get everything else out of the way for real. But we need the strength. We need the grace because the Spirit is willing, but our flesh is weak. So help us to die daily. Help us to choose you daily. Help us to seek you first daily in Jesus. Jesus name somebody say amen hallelujah God is good thank you worship team my Lord